The 2018 Chevy Equinox rear brake replacement starts in the driver's seat. Make sure that the parking brake is not engaged. To do this, depress the brake pedal, start the vehicle, and press down on the parking brake switch. Place a wheel chalk at the front of the vehicle to avoid movement during the repair. Release the torque on the lug nuts with a 19 millimeter socket and breaker bar. Locate the rear jack point just below the rear passenger door handle. Raise the vehicle with the lift jack, place a jack stand, and then lower the vehicle onto the jack stand. I leave both in place for safety. Completely remove the lug nuts. Remove the tire from the vehicle. To the right of the brake assembly, we will start to remove the caliper slide pins with a 17 millimeter open end wrench and a 13 millimeter socket. The open ended wrench is held in place and the socket wrench is turned downward toward the front of the vehicle. Remove the 13 millimeter bolts from the top of the caliper slide pins. To remove the electronic parking brake sensor and power cable, locate and gently lift the small red tab with a flathead screwdriver. Then, with your hand, carefully slide the red clip inward towards the vehicle. There will be a small, black, plastic clip under the red locking mechanism we slid back. Carefully lift on this while pushing and twisting on the black housing for the connector until it releases from the electronic parking brake. Remove the retention clip for the electronic parking brake cable carefully using needle nose pliers and pulling outward. I cracked the bracket trying to remove mine but it's still functional. Pry slightly between the caliper and the brake rotor to allow the caliper to be removed. Be careful not to twist the brake hose when resting it on the wheel assembly. Strap in the caliper to avoid damaging it or the brake hose from a fall while we service the brakes. Hit the rotor mounting screw with penetrant and let it work while we move on to other tasks. Remove the outer and inner brake pads. Take note of the orientation of the inner brake pad wear indicator bar shown here. Loosen, but do not remove the rotor mounting screw with a T30 Torx bit and an eight millimeter wrench for additional torque. Using an 18 millimeter socket and breaker bar, loosen the torque on the caliper mounting bracket bolts shown here and here. Completely remove one bolt and fully loosen the second with an 18 millimeter socket wrench, but do not remove. Grab the caliper mounting bracket, slide out the second mounting bolt, and then remove the caliper mounting bracket and the mounting bolt. Cleaning the calipers and pins takes some effort, which starts by removing the brake pad mounting clips with a flat head screwdriver. The caliper slide pins are removed by pulling back the rubber boot. The caliper pins are different. This caliper slide pin with plastic on the shank belongs in the upper caliper slide receiver in the caliper mounting bracket. Slide off the rubber boot and clean the slide pin with a paper towel. Repeat the process for the other caliper slide pin which has no plastic on the shank and belongs to the lower caliper slide receiver. Use a wire brush and flathead screwdriver to sand down and chisel off all rust in high areas that would prevent the new brake pads from being properly seated. Supplement with brake cleaner. Clean out the caliper slide pin receivers with a rolled up paper towel in a twisting motion to remove dirt and grease. Be careful not to leave paper towel pieces inside. Clean the rubber boot with a rolled up paper towel through the boot, turning in a rolling motion. Apply fresh, rubber safe, silicon based brake lubricant to the rubber boot, both slide pins and the caliper slide receivers. I suggest placing the caliper slide pins in the receivers with a twisting motion to spread lubricant and to confirm that an excessive amount has not been applied. Return the rubber boot to the caliper slide pin with a twisting and pushing motion. Make sure the lip of the boot is properly seated on the lip of the slide pin near the 17 millimeter head. Return the caliper slide pins into the receiver and make sure that the rubber boot is affixed to the lip on the caliper mounting bracket. 
push on the slide pins to make sure they have bounce and return as shown here. Push the brake pad mounting clips into place with your hands as shown here. Apply a small amount of brake lubricant to the face of the brake pad retention clip where the brake pads make contact as shown here to finish the prep. Remove the rotor mounting screw with the T30 Torx screwdriver. Remove the rotor from the vehicle. With a flathead screwdriver and a wire brush, remove all rust and high points from the wheel hub that would prevent the new rotor from seating properly. Clean the dust shield and the wheel hub with brake cleaner and paper towels. Apply anti-seize to the face and lip of the wheel hub. Do not get anti-seize on the screw threads for the lug nuts. Clean any anti-rust film that may exist on your new rotors with brake cleaner. Remove the restraint placed on the brake caliper. Clean the face of the caliper piston and the inside of the caliper where the pads sit with a wire brush and brake cleaner. Locate the two T30 Torx screws holding the plastic electronic parking brake housing together. Break the initial torque on the screws with a T30 Torx bit and an 8mm wrench. Use a screwdriver with a T30 bit to remove the screws. Very carefully pry between the metal and the plastic of the electronic parking brake assembly until it can be removed without damage. To put the parking brake into maintenance mode, use a 7mm Allen key to turn the spindle clockwise. Please take note of the caliper orientation in the wheel area. Use a paper towel with brake cleaner to carefully clean the face of the plastic electronic parking brake plastic. Make sure to keep dirt and debris out of the assembly. Gently and with a twisting motion, partially reseat the plastic electronic parking brake into the brake caliper. You should be able to feel the teeth meet inside. At this point, you can use a standard brake pad spreader on the piston to make room for the new pads. Let out any excess air in the piston boot with a flathead screwdriver. Be careful not to puncture the rubber boot. Place thread locker on the screws for the electronic parking brake and return both partially screwed into the electronic parking brake assembly. Tighten both screws into place with a T30 Torx screwdriver hand tight. These do not have a torque specification and should not be over tightened to avoid damage to the plastic. Apply brake lubricant to the face of the brake caliper piston and the ear of the brake caliper where the outside brake pad sits. Apply a strap to the brake caliper to secure it in place while we install the new brake rotor. Install the new brake rotor over the threads where the lug nuts go. Return the rotor mounting screw with a T30 Torx screwdriver hand tight. Set the caliper mounting bracket into place aligning the holes for the bolts. Apply thread locker to the caliper mounting bracket bolts and set them into place turning them hand tight. Use an 18 millimeter socket wrench to tighten the bolts down. Use a torque wrench to set the caliper mounting bracket bolts to 80 foot pounds. You'll be pulling upwards with the wrench to tighten. Looking at the inside of the caliper mounting bracket, set the inner brake pad into the lubricated retention clip. Take note the position of the wear indicator to the right. Set the outside brake pad into the lubricated retention clips. Remove the strap we use to hold the brake caliper in place. Set the brake caliper into the caliper mounting bracket. Place the 13mm bolt into the upper and lower caliper slide pins. Tighten both with a 17mm open-ended wrench and a 13mm socket wrench. Torque these bolts to 20 foot-pounds. Snap the electronic parking brake sensor and electric cable back into its retention clip. Plug the electronic parking brake cable back in and press the red retention clip to lock the connector in. Enter the driver's seat and pull up on the parking brake switch. You should hear an extended sound of the parking brake engaging, which sounds like this. Turn the vehicle on and then release and re-engage the parking brake several times to confirm it is operational.
with the vehicle on, depress the brake pedal several times until the pedal becomes firm. Exit the vehicle and lift the tire onto the wheel assembly aligning the bolt circle. Return and hand tighten the lug nuts. Lift the vehicle with the jack, grab the jack stand, lower the vehicle, and remove the jack. Torque all lug nuts in a star pattern to 100 foot-pounds and make two passes to ensure they are all adequately tightened. Drive the vehicle at varying speeds up to 55 miles per hour and rapidly decelerate on a road where there is no traffic behind you. Repeat the acceleration and braking approximately 10 times for proper effect. That's it! Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider sending a few dollars my way through a YouTube thanks in the links below.